Yo, what's going on, y'all? It is the Baltimore Angler, and today I am tying the knot. All right, so just stated to y'all that I'm tying the knot. Well, I ain't tying that knot. I ain't getting married, nothing like that. But we are going to tie some knots. Uh, I'm going to show you just the basic knots that I use when I go fishing. All right. I actually have some props as well. Uh oh, uh, there we go. This nice long stringer fishing line. As a matter of fact, I got a knot here right now. Let me untangle it real quick. Again, this is going to be our fishing line for showing you how to tie knots. All right. This right here is going to simulate being a hook. Now, if you can put two and two together, it's going to simulate being the shank of the hook and the eye. Okay? The hook. And these sweet orange bundles of joy right here are going to be swivels. All right? And I'm just going to show you just a couple knots. Uh, three knots. All right? First off, and we're going to go in order. All right? First off is a knot that I use to tie <clears throat> any swivel to my main line. That's a Palomar knot. That is a super, super easy knot to tie. All right. Swivel. Well, swivel, fishing line. All right. First thing you want to do, this is your fishing line. You're going to take your line, put a bend in the line, just like that. You're going to have a half loop at the end. You're going to hold the two pieces together on the other side, right there, all right? Take your half loop, go through your swivel, just like that. And if you got bigger hands, bigger fingers like me, use more line, all right? Bam! Now, we're going to take this folded line, imagine it being one whole line. We're going to tie a uh, overhand knot, aka a figure eight knot, all right? So here's how you do that. You can spin it around like that. Take the tag end of your fishing line, go through the loop. Pull it out, but don't tighten it down yet. All right, so now you got that. Me personally, I like to give one twist on the end of the loop. Take your swivels through that last loop, tighten everything down. Oh no! It tightens a lot easier if it's fishing line. This is a string that I'm using, and it don't want to tighten down that well. Oh, but that is a Palomar knot. It seriously is that quick to tie. That easy, too. All right? Palomar knot. All right, so now we have our swivel tied onto our main line uh, via Palomar knot. Now we are going to make our own leader with a hook. All right? First thing I like to do is tie is tie a snail onto my hook all right this is the hook the eye and the shank imagine that the point of the hook is facing towards you and the shank is facing towards me all right that's the eye what i like to do i will take my fishing line i will go down and away going out the back of the eye all right just like that the line's coming towards me I will hold that line down along the shank, just like so. Now I will take the line that's out in front of it, right here, it's facing you, and I will tie 10 loops around the shank of the hook while holding this line, all right? And I go 10 loops because I go after bigger fish, and I, w I just want more line on the hook, which will make it stronger, all right? So we're gonna take our line, and we're gonna go 10 times around the hook. It looks just like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Got ten loops around the shank of the hook. Now we're gonna hold that line, just like so. Now what we're gonna do, okay, now we're gonna take the end of the line and we're gonna take it back out from the back going toward the front of the hook in a way, all right? And it's gonna look like this, bam. Just like that. To tighten down the snail, let go of the hook, pull on 
opposite ends of your fishing line and BAM you have a pre-tied snail good to go now all you have to do is connect the other side of your uh, fishing line to the swivel that you connected on the other end with the Palomar knot alright so we're going to take this in right here and we're going to do what's called a figure eight knot some call it a figure eight some call it a uh, overhand knot same thing all right tying this knot you can do one of two things all right you can take the other side of the swivel go through it just like that then fold it back over to where it's around and secure like that and what I like to do take these double the, the double set of line right here make a loop and put it through the swivel and put the swivels through that loop tighten everything down BAM overhand knot slash figure eight knot alright so say you have your figure eight knot or pre-tied snail and everything's already closed up with the figure eight loop you have your swivels right here you need to connect this to that but you already have this tied that's easy cow hitch knot take your fishing line and go take the loop go through the swivel just like so just right there just hold everything in place take your other end of your fishing line and go through the loop Ooh, get in there there we go just like it and the excess everything on the other side of the loop has to go of the other side of the fishing line has to go through the loop and bam you have a cow hitch all right that's all the knots that I use uh, to tie up my uh, to connect my gear and, and and to attach line to swivels swivels to hooks hooks to rigs whatever and you see how quick that video was it seriously that's how quick it is to tie knots all right that's simple all right so thank y'all for watching now y'all know how a few of the knots that i use so in the meantime y'all take care be easy baltimore see you later